Good morning. Okay, another super quick one before work. <laughs> I had to show you this. You are going to laugh because it's, yeah, it's ridiculous. But anyway, I've got a swap that, um, that I'm participating in at work and I had to make like a dozen um, cards or things to, to give to people and then, you know, I would get a dozen things, different things back. So anyway, I want to show you what this is. Okay, so I had grand plans to make little mailboxes with little Hershey nuggets in them. I got the, the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? Template? The instruction tutorial from May May Made It Crafts, M-A-Y, M-A-Y, and then Made It. Um, she's a, she's a great crafter on uh, YouTube here. And I was so excited because I had a set that I wanted to use and it was mailboxes and stuff. And I was like, yes. Okay, so this is how it was supposed to turn out. See that? And then you get the candies inside. Well, guess what? As I was putting these together, um, yeah, my hands are not working very well this morning. But yeah, that's how that's supposed to go. So it opens up, you get the candy out, and you can close it back up again. I was going to put a flag on here and put some decorations, you know. But... Look what I suddenly, it suddenly dawned on me in the middle of it as I was putting glue on the flaps of this thing, the sides, and then the bottom. I realized, oh no, I think I put the glue too far forward and I think I glued my flaps in so they wouldn't slide, right? Sure enough, I did this for like over half of them, you guys. I can't get it out, okay, without ripping the thing. And this one's, most of them are like this one, where both flaps are uh, are in. So, yeah, it was a grand idea. <laughs> I was so excited to do it. But, sadly, my co-swappers are not going to get little mailboxes today. Um, this is the thing that was going to go with it. I saw this um, little idea with just the with just the blue in this um, on the internet, and I don't know who came up with it, but I love it. I ended up um, ended up going. Oh, it doesn't have the pop, you know, that I wanted it to have. So um, in a panic, <laughs> I messaged a friend. Um, God bless her, and I uh, said, "Oh, it's not working. I said, oh, I don't like it. It's not working." And so she said, hey, there's red, <clears throat> excuse me, red on that card. So why don't you see if you can use red cards? And I went, oh, genius. So I went ahead and added the red card base. So the original design was just the blue card base. And um, actually they used uh, darker blue, which really gave it a nice pop. But uh, I didn't have the darker blue because I didn't realize <laughs> that it was darker. So I didn't like that um, that the blue that I was using was, you know, kind of muted. It wasn't it wasn't as popping as I wanted it to be. So this red definitely added a pop. So yeah, so there there it is. <laughs> I had, was gonna use these as you know, I'm gonna use just this part as a topper for a bag that would hold these little mailboxes <laughs> but clearly that did not work that will not work out so um, yeah I really hope they like them they're pretty simple but I, I really like simple these days so yeah there it is <laughs> okay um, oh and the stamp set is called sending love and it's by Stampin' Up so if you want to find this original design um, go ahead and search Google uh, for sending love stampin up stamp set and you'll you'll eventually happen upon this one the original one with just the blue and this with the darker blue anyway <clears throat> so that's my story for today <laughs> I'm such a goob anyway I hope you guys have a great day <laughs> thanks for stopping by